In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at the power of law of logarithms. And so first we'll state what the law is and then take a look at a short proof over here to prove that it is correct. The power law says this. If you're taking the logarithm of a power, so m raised to the power of n is the power, then you can rewrite that as n. So what's happened actually is that exponent has come down in front of the logarithm as n times the same logarithm, of course, without the power because the n is now down in the, in the front multiplied by the logarithm. So to prove that, uh, we're going to look at, um, over here, we've got p equals the logarithm base b of m, so just a logarithmic statement, and we're going to convert that into its equivalent exponential form. So the equivalent exponential form would say that b, the base, raised to the power of p, so b to the power of p, is equal to the m. And so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take the power of n of both sides. So I'm going to raise this to the power of n, and the b to the p also raised to the power of n. And if you remember when working with exponents, when you have a power of a power, you multiply the two exponents. So I can simplify the right side here to b to the power of p times n, so pn. So next what we're going to do is we're going to take the, uh, uh, this and write it in its equivalent log form. And the equivalent log form would say that the exponent, p, pn, the, ex the exponent is equal to the logarithm of this base. Remember, the base of the power and the base of the logarithm are the same thing. So pn equals the logarithm base b of this quantity here, the m to the power of n. Now, so next what I'm going to do is rewrite the pn as np. And the reason for that is we're trying to show that the logarithm base b of m to the power of n, which is exactly what we have on the left here, is equal to n times this logarithm. Well, the p, p is equal to the logarithm base b of m. So I can replace this p with the logarithm base b of m. And so I now would have that the logarithm base b of m to the n is equal to n times the logarithm of m base b. So that's just a proof that the uh, power law of logarithms works. And uh, so we're going to take a look at using it in a couple of examples here and also on the second page. So the first one says evaluate using the power law. So you've got the logarithm of 4 cubed base 2. So the power law says this 3 can come down and be written in front. So you can write it as 3 times the logarithm of 4 base 2. Now, the whole idea here is to show you how to evaluate this logarithm without going to a calculator. We'll get into some calculator stuff on the second page. So since this 4 can be written as a power of 2, I can uh, write that at as, the, as 3 log base 2 of 4, of 4 as 2 squared. So the reason I want to do that is because if you have a logarithm and the base of the logarithm is the same as the base of the power, then this whole logarithm just equals that exponent. So this whole, with all the 2's here, the logarithm base 2 of 2 squared equals that exponent 2. So that now we really just have 3 times that 2, which is 6. So that logarithm evaluates to equal exactly 6. Second one here in B, the fourth root is the power of a quarter. And so I can use the power law and write this as a quarter times the logarithm base 5 of 625. Now, 625 can be written as a power of 5, a power of base 5. So it's actually 5 to the 4th. And you can check that on your uh, calculator if you want. 5 raised to the power of 4 is 625, just to verify. So uh, this logarithm has the same base as the uh, base of the power. So this whole logarithm would just equal that exponent 4. So basically what we have now is a quarter times 4, which equals 1. So this would evaluate to exactly equal 1. So the power, one of the nice things about the power law is it leads us into something called the change of base formula. If you look at any uh, normal scientific calculator, and here's my example here, there is a log key here, but it's only it only evaluates the logarithm base 10. There is another one called the ln, which is uh, base e, and you might get into that in another course, but otherwise there's only base 10. And so I'm going to show you how you can evaluate a logarithm with a calculator that's not base 10. That's the change of base formula. So 
in exponential form, a to the power of x equals y, the equivalent logarithmic expression would be the logarithm of y base a equals x. Um, when I convert from logarithm to exponential form, I often show it like this. The base of the log and the base of the power are the same. So a raised to the power of x equals this y. So a to the x equals y. So what we're going to do first here is we're going to take a to the x equals y and take the logarithm base b of both sides. So that's what this is right here. And you can choose whatever base b is. If you want base b to b2 or anything, doesn't matter. It's actually most convenient to use it as 10 because your calculator does base 10. So what we're going to do here is we're going to solve for x. And so the power law says that that x can come down in front. So we can write this as x times the logarithm of a base b. And so I'm trying to solve for x, so I would divide both sides by the logarithm of a base b. And so these logarithms on the left here divide out, and I get x equals this. So x is the logarithm of y base b divided by the logarithm of a base b. Well, you see, if you look back up here to what we had at the beginning, x is this thing right here. So this implies that the logarithm of y base a is equal to the logarithm of y base b divided by the logarithm of a base b. So basically, it's the logarithm of this divided by the logarithm of the base. And as I said a, a moment ago, you can choose the base to be anything you want. It's most convenient to use base 10 because your calculator does base 10. But if you had a calculator that you know worked in base 7, I guess you could do that and it would work. The, that lawn key I referred to as well will also give you the, the same calculation here. So example two, we're asked to evaluate the, the logarithm of 63 base 5. And unlike the examples on the previous page, it's not convenient, certainly not as whole numbers, to write 63 as a power of 5. It's not a whole number power of 5. Hence the change of base formula. So to evaluate the log of 63 base 5, we would take the log of 63 and divide it by the log of the base, the 5. And you get this. So what it would look like in your calculator is this. You would type in the log of 63, I'll close the bracket, divided by the log of the base, and you get that 2.574, to four dozen places it rounds to three. Uh, as I moment, mentioned a moment ago, if you use the uh, lawn key, it actually <laughs> will work as well. And so the lawn of the base again gives you exactly the same calculation. Uh, as a check, um, this number here, what that logarithm means, is if you raise 5 to that power, you should get 63. And so we could actually show this if we go 5 to the power of, and I can just pull up the last answer without typing in some decimals, I get exactly 63. If I type this in, if I go 2.5, whoops, not 5, 5743, let's say to, to four decimal places, and I got uh, I got a two. There we go. Uh, it's pretty close, uh, but you know I rounded there. That's why it's not exactly 63. So that's how you would check. Evaluate five to that uh, uh, power, and it, you should get 63. Last example, we're asked how long does it take for a thousand dollars, or actually any money, to triple a five percent? And it really doesn't matter if it's a thousand dollars or it's you know, three dollars. Now. This is the compound interest formula. The accumulated amount is the principal multiplied by 1 plus the interest rate to the power of n. And so in our formula, uh, p is the, print, the what you're starting with. So that's 1,000. And so tripling it would go to 3,000. So if you instead put $4 here, uh, triple would be 12. It really doesn't matter the amount. Um, as a, a decimal, 5.5% would be 0 0.055. And so let's uh, let's divide out the thousand, and so we would have three here on the left equals, and this would be when we add this together 1.055. Now we're trying to solve for the exponent, and so what we can do is uh, use a logarithm. So if we convert this to equi the equivalent log form, the n, the exponent, would equal the log this base of three, and so we have a logarithm to evaluate that isn't base 10. So here comes the change of base formula. So we would take the log of 3 and divide it by the log of the base. 
And we'll bring our calculator back over here. And so the uh, calculation would look like this. The log of 3 divided by the log of 1.055. Close the bracket. And we get about 20.5. So it takes about 20 and a half years from, from money to triple at 5.5%. And that's the end of the tutorial.